will be arriving in the watery wonderland of Venice. Venice consists of a hundred little islands joined together by 400 little bridges. There's canals, there's gondolas, there's beautiful walkways, and we're going to show you many of the great highlights of this beautiful city. We are going to discover the town, to make a walk all around and through the small Venetian calais. Is that okay? Okay, this way, thank you very much. Um, what is the story with the pigeons? There's a story. Oh, you have seen. Do you have so many pigeons in the Way Islands? Yes. So the Venetian began a sea trade relation with the Orient, for which a lot of products, spices, perfume, clothes, carpets, uh, uh, silver, brocade, silks, uh, gold, all these very expensive products were brought by Venetian ships from the Oriental countries of Mediterranean Sea to Venice. They were sold in the area of Rialto that later on we are going to visit and later on they were brought to the different parts of Europe. This was the main through which the Venetians succeeded in becoming very rich. I remember you, that, uh, but you already know, that the most important of our merchants was Marco Polo, that in the second half of the 13th century made a very long journey as far as China. You are just in front of the Basilica, the church that dedicated to our patron saint. It was begun in the year 1063, it was finished in the year 1094. So the church is 900 years old. And uh, now we are going inside. You can see that it's a Roman Catholic church, but the style is a real uh, Byzantine style. Because the Venetians, who had sea trade in relation with the Orient, were charmed, were fascinated by the beauty of the Oriental churches. So they reproduce the same style in the most important church, in the church that dedicated to our patron saint, Saint Mar. The floor is decorated with marble mosaics, small pieces of marble put one near the other in order to form some drawings. The lower part of the walls are covered with marbles and columns, all coming from the Orient, the upper part of the walls and all the ceiling are completely decorated with mosaics. No fresco, no paintings, only mosaics. Inside the church there are 8,600 square meters of mosaics. A huge work made in a lot of centuries. We are now in the Nartex, this is N-A-R-T-H-E-X. That's the first part of the church. It was reserved to people who had not yet been baptized. In this area there is more natural light, so you can see better the tiny pieces that constitute the mosaics, and you can see real gold glittering, but you can see very, very, very well because there is more light. While on the opposite side, just in front of you, you can see the Doji's Palace. The Doge's palace and many functions. First of all, it was the residence of the Doge, the chief of the Venetian Republic lived inside this wonderful palace. Then it was the seat of the different councils, committees that formed the government of Venice. So it was the government palace. And it was also the seat of the court of justice. That's the reason why the Doge's palace is linked to the new prison, to the famous Bridge of Sighs. It was begun in the year 1340, it was finished in the year 1438, and it's one of the most beautiful examples of Gothic style that we have in Venice. The statues that you can see over there are called the Tetrarchs. They are the four emperors of the Eastern and Western Empire. To tell you the truth, they were stolen by the Venetian, but I can't say I'm Venetian. Eh? <laughs> You can see the island of St. George with a beautiful church built by the famous architect Andrea Palladio. While over there, you can see the beginning of the Grand Canal. Very <laughs> You can have a wonderful view of all the Grand Canal. And we are in the commercial center of the town. This is the third reconstruction of the bridge that at the origin of the town was a bridge made by boats. This one was remade in the second half of the 16th century. You can see shops on both sides of the bridge. Okay, we go this way. 
Now for the pleasures of the ladies, we la we la are returning to St. Mark area and we are going across the Merceria. The Merceria is the most important Venetian street because it connects uh, Rialto to St. Mark, but it's uh, the most fashionable street too because uh, over there there are the most beautiful shops of Venice. Of course, there's many varieties of shops in Venice, but the most famous kind of shop is the glass factory. This is where they actually make the glasses, and you can see the demonstration right before your eyes in this very hot oven. That's it. You like it? Yeah. 